Hey guys, how's it going today? So today we're going to be talking about one of the hardest things every Pokemon trainer has to do. That's right. Today's going to be about picking your starter Pokemon. So we got three options here. We got water. We go with a Froakie. We have fire, Fennekin. And we got grass, Chespin. Now all three Pokemon, they're pretty decent. You know, fire is usually one of the stronger types and very useful to have. Um, you know, you can burn your opponent's Pokemon. You can uh, have quite a bit of attack, health. They're pretty decent, well-rounded Pokemon. Good to have. It's always useful to have a fire-type Pokemon on your team. We got Chespin, the grass type. The grass type Pokemon can usually heal themselves and do quite a bit of damage if they get an opportunity to. They are weakness to fire, of course. Um, and we got water. We got Froakie here. Water is pretty good. You know, it's strong against fire types. Um, it's not a it's not a bad one to have at all. They can usually uh, learn, you know, you get Surf, Waterfall, Hydro Pump, a lot of powerful attacks they can learn later on. Very useful to have in caves and things, and you run into a lot of rock Pokemon. So which one do you pick? And how do you go about choosing which Pokemon to pick? I uh, started with Froakie in Pokemon X. He was my uh, favorite one out of the three um, they all the designs of the starters this time around are you know, they're okay they're not terrible but I don't know I've seen a lot better ones I thought the Hoenn starters were all better um, the original starters of course are probably the best um, I like Chimchar I used to have a fire deck I've never really built a grass deck I've never never used grass Pokemon my brother does um, he kicked my butt at Pokemon cards earlier today. He had a bunch of uh, Eevee, uh, Leafeons, and massacred me. Uh, those are very powerful cards. My other brother, uh, my youngest brother, he uses water cards, and uh, he's not bad either. You know, he's got some pretty powerful stuff. He's got a uh, Piplup, and he's a Volfor, is basically the uh, core of his team. And, uh, he, yeah, so he uses that. He's got a Gyarados that can do Rage. Uh, pretty powerful Pokemon. So he's he's for water. And I've only ever had two types of decks in my life. I've used Psychic and I've used Fire. I had a Chimchar deck and I had an Empolia. An or, um, had uh, Chimchar and... All of his forms in the uh, the X, level X form. I can't remember the name of the guy at the moment. But uh, he was pretty powerful. I love that deck. Um, I played with it for a long time. Back when I was going to Pokemon League. And I switched to it. I had a Psychic deck before that. Where I had a Gengar. And he was kind of the most powerful guy I had in there. And then after that. I, uh, I switched to Fire. And used that for a long time. And now I've gone back to the Psychic deck. And Grass, as I said, I've never used Grass cards. Um, they're just, I don't know, never really been my thing. So, how do you have all three starters? How do you pick which one to begin your game with? I started with Froakie, as I said. I thought he was the cutest of the three. And I still have him on my team now. He's fully evolved. And I have him on my uh, Pokemon X game. But, uh, yeah, comment below. Let me know. You know, what starter did you have? Why did you pick them? And how did that work out for you? I'd love to hear all about it. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day.